Greetings, turdlings. Does setting your USB microphone's level to 100% on your computer really lead to more hiss, white noise, and preamp noise making it into the recording? That's what we're going to be looking at today because up on the screen, I got a comment calling me out saying that setting your microphone's level to 100% is terrible for reviews. So that's what we're gonna be exploring. If having the level for the Sennheiser Profile USB at 100% is actually adding more white noise and hiss to the recording. Up on screen, I have my audio devices panel for the Sennheiser input. My level is set at 100%. The column directly next to that is titled decibels dB, and it says zero dB. What that means is with the level set at 100%, we are not boosting, and we are not attenuating the signal that is being converted on our computer. This is following proper gain staging procedure. But just to be thorough, I want to test this out. So currently my gain is at 2 o'clock on the microphone, level at 100%. Let's go ahead and listen to the preamp noise, and I will boost it about 24 dB in post. Four, three, two, one. Now I am going to decrease the level on the computer to 75, 50, and 25%. The decibel column will tell me exactly how much the signal is being attenuated, so I can offset that in post, and we'll compare the noise floors and see if decreasing the level really improves the noise floor and the hiss in the recording. Getting loud in five, four, three, two, one. I can already hear you yelling in the comments, Bandrew, if you're decreasing the level on your computer, you gotta increase the gain on the microphone. So let's go ahead and try that. Currently, the, the gain on the microphone is at two o'clock level on the computer 100%. This is gonna be annoying. Ah. Uh... We're hovering around minus 9 dB. This is not gonna be perfect, but let's go ahead and decrease our level to 75%. Uh... Okay, I increased the gain on the microphone to about 3.30 or four o'clock, and on my meter, which you can see on the screen, we are now peaking around minus 9 dB. In my headphones, it sounds like we're clipping. Secret, I've already done this test. It is clipping, it is distorting. So let's go ahead and compare the noise floor with the gain at two o'clock, level at 100%, to the gain at four o'clock, level at 75%, and see which one is better. Now, in order to be thorough, I wanted to include a test of a USB mic that has zero gain controls via software or in the physical realm. So I have the Siren Mini connected to my computer. My level is set at 44.4% or 0 dB. This will be our baseline, and I will compare it to a few different level settings to see if there was any kind of difference in the preamp hiss or noise or whatever you want to call it. So what are the findings here? I want to start by saying that I am not comfortable making any kind of blanket statements about all USB microphones based on the testing in this video. I would need to do a lot more testing to feel comfortable doing that. But as far as these microphones in particular, setting your level on the Sennheiser Profile USB to 100% does not lead to more white noise making it into the recording. If the gain on the microphone remains consistent and you set your level lower, 
100 to 75 to 50 to 25. To me, it seemed like the noise floors were nearly identical, or if there was any kind of difference in the noise floor, it was negligible. The noise floor did get worse when we decreased our level from 100 to 75% and then increased the gain on the microphone. So that was an instance where the noise floor got worse. So the settings I used in my review, in my comparisons, in my opinion, in my testing, in my experience, were the optimal settings for this microphone to get the best noise floor performance. Then we have the Razer Siren Mini, and I found this a lot more interesting because I had always thought once you start boosting a signal above 0 dB, you're going to start to degrade that signal to noise ratio. The noise floor is going to get worse. But I found once we went up to 72% and 100%, the signal to noise ratio, that noise floor, once we compensate for the gain added, was nearly identical, which is counterintuitive to what I had always thought. I was shocked. And then when we dropped it below 0 dB, it actually got worse. It sounded as though the signal was starting to get lost in the noise floor, and to my ears, it was very reminiscent of what I found in my 16 versus 24-bit audio test. It sounded like 16-bit audio, and this microphone is 16-bit. So I found that boosting the Siren Mini above 0 dB by going to 72 or 100% did not degrade that signal to noise ratio. Now, if you're monitoring the recording and the recording is now louder, when you boost to 72 or 100%, you may perceive the noise floor as being louder, but that signal to noise ratio seems to be identical. You're just hearing the recording louder. Only when you drop it below 0 dB do you start to encounter issues. Okay, that's all that I have. I just got that comment and it made me question everything. So I figured let's make a video testing it out and share it with everybody. And I had some interesting findings. I will be doing a lot more testing with this and make a full video on podcastage. But that is it. Talk to you later. Bye. Whoa, whoa.